What is up and I am ready and welcome to a updated Blue Eyes deck profile. Now this is using the Mech Knight engine as you can see with the Mech Knight Supreme. Uh, Supreme. But without further ado, let's just get right into the deck profile. And of course, if you want to make your SA cards looking good, I suggest picking up the Kaiba Corp sleeves. They're, they're absolutely gorgeous. I got my hands on these like a while back, but they're just so cool looking and so amazing. And they're also tournament legal, so they're definitely worth picking up. I'll say they're on like let's say TCG player. I'll say you also can find them on Amazon and eBay. Like relatively cheap too, but say based on how nice they look. But first, let's get into it. Of course, the namesake of the deck. We are rocking three blue eyes white dragons. I mean, that is my. I say personally, this is my favorite artwork they ever made of the blue eyes. It's the movie artwork. He's just. I, I mean, I mean, he's your vanilla of the uh, say deck. He gets like some of your play started. Uh, say a couple of your spell and traps revolve around him. But three blue eyes, of course, you can't say run it otherwise there's been like some more like competitive builds only rocking two but taking the fact this ain't that much a competitive build just three for this the namesake of course your three blue eyes alternative white dragons now this is great because all you do is reveal a blue eyes white dragon and he special summons out so he's good to get your say level eight say exceed plays going and also it's just good because he has the effect where he can pop a card it's nice then of course the two honorary blue eyes, the two dragon spirit of white. This guy is awesome because when he's summoned out, you can pop, well not pop, you can banish one of your opponent's spell and trap cards, which is great. And he's always treated as a blue eyes monster too. I mean, I see some decks only rocking two, I, I mean one of them. But I like two because I do like the fact that you can, I say get rid of back row with him really nice. And we are rocking one of the new blue eyes monsters, one blue eyes solid dragon. I like him because he's more... I say he's I say he's better at effect veiler. He's searchable just like effect veiler is for this deck and you can uh, trade him out for a blue eyes uh, say 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 really quickly and plus he shuffles himself back into the deck so he always recurs himself which is always great which makes him searchable off a lot of your blue eyes search cards you can you know, say put in the deck. So one blue eyes solid I would recommend and, but that does it with the blue eyes monsters. Now we're going to go to your supporting engine. Of course, we're doing the three sage. Of course, you have to have the three sage. This guy is great. He searches all your other light tuners. That includes Effect Veiler as well. Uh, well, And he also I say, is a way to turbo a blue eyes card by tributing one of your effect monsters on the field to get it as well. Then, of course, we're rocking three of the white stones of Ancients. This is just an, another amazing card to have for any blue eyes strategy. Just great. And then, of course, we're rocking the one offs, uh, the one white stone of legend, because. It's just great because you can ditch this off. You get a blue eyes white dragon right to hand. And then Maiden with Eyes of Blue. She is great because if you have her and Sage in your opening hand, just normal summon her. Say uses Sage effects. You get two blue eyes monsters out instantly right off the bat. So it's great. Then to round off your tuners, we get one Effect Veiler to just round off your tuners because Effect Veiler is your searchable hand trap of the deck. Next, we're going to go into your supporting Mech Knight engine, of course. We're rocking the two Purple Nightfall, the one Blue Sky, and then, of course, the two Indigo Eclipse. This is my, say, Mech Knight engine that I personally think, because, obviously, they're all, well, I say, I say Indigo Eclipse and Purple Nightfall are level 8, so they have synergy with the Exceed Monsters. And Blue Boy is just, well, Blue Sky is just an awesome way to, like, search out your Mech Knights. And then to round off your monsters, we are walking one Goliath, because... This deck doesn't need extra deck. I mean, it, it will say, say say benefit greatly for extra deck, but you can just steamroll your opponent with him to shut down their extra deck. And also your blue eyes monsters can easily just pop and also pop back row and then also just go in for, say, OTK damage and just say one-shot them, which is great. So he basically shuts down the entire extra deck of your opponent, which is definitely a great thing to have, especially in this metagame. And then for your spells, of course, your searcher for the deck. We are rocking three melody, of course. It's your searcher. Searches, say, the blue eyes cards that you need. Uh, your three return, because it's your monster reborn with built-in protection. I mean, there's nothing, uh, it's, it, that's just best you can get. And then, of course, your draw power. You get three trade them because almost all your cards are level eight. So just ditch them off if you brick, uh, say, too much with blue eyes monsters. It's a good way to, say, unbrick your hands and hopefully draw into something else you can start your combos with. Because it's, I mean, I mean, it is blue eyes. If you're used to playing blue eyes, you know it bricks a lot. So it's just best to recycle your hand as much as possible. Now for your one-offs, one monster reborn, one dragon trying to ditch your stones to the grave, one cards of consonants, another card to help you unbrick your hands. 
one foolish to send more of your stones or I say stones to the grave. Of course, one game charge, of course. One Regeki because, you know, sometimes your opponent's board gets a little too crazy. You can't handle it, which is kind of odd for Blue Eyes. So that's a good way just to clear things up and just go in for OTKs and just swing out for game. Then more draw, Pot of Desires. I like one. I say two is a little too much because you already do have the three trade-ins and the one consonants. So having two desires, I say say increases your chance of more, I say likely drawing a draw spell off in desires. So one is just good enough as it is. But that rounds it off with the spells. I mean, if you want some of the other cards, you can trade in for like Bingo Machine. I know that came out, but that card's still like $30, $40, maybe even more now. I don't know how much it is now. But it, it, I mean, if you have those, by all means, use those because they're great cards. But end of the traps, because we are in a more heavy back row uh, format these days, I like say with Alter Geist and other I say meta decks that use back row a lot. I say back row destruction is your thing. So I'm rocking two heavy storm dusters. I mean, if you want, I trade these in for two twin twisters if you like. But as long as you have two cards or cards that focus on back row, so I say counteract those Alter Geist matchups or any other back row heavy decks. I say you're you're good. But for me, I like two heavy, I say heavy storm duster because it doesn't have really a cost for it, especially if you activate it on your opponent's turn. It's just great. And then, and for your protection, for your blue eyes, is two champions of vigilance. If you have a level seven or level eight, say normal monster out, which you do with your blue eyes and your spirit, basically it's an instant negate, instant solemn judgment for anything. It stops summoning, it stops uh, a spell and traps, it just negates and stops them. So it's just a little more protection for your blue eyes deck. Next, we're going to go to the extra deck. We're going to start with your small little secret engine. Of course, one Moonlight, one Spirit to bring out your Moonlight. Also, we do rock the Azura Eyes in case we want to do that combo as well. One Stardust, because Stardust is still really good because he does have that ability to negate stuff. So, say more negates for the game, but the better. And plus, he's very easy to get out, especially if... Uh, I say with your I say Moonlight to turn a Synchro into either your Stardust or your Crystal Wing. So, that's, that's my Synchro Engine for the extra deck. Next, the Exceeds, and of course, you know Blue Eyes, they use the Galaxy Package, of course. Full Armor, Cypher, Cypher Blade, and Cypher, Dark Matter, and Hope Harbinger. Now, a little interesting, Dark Matter did, I say, get banned in the OCG, so I'm wondering to see if he, if that will stay that way here. I don't think it is because Dark Matter's not really involved in any too many, like, like game breaking uh, uh, plays, like it is on the OCG, but it's it, it, it did get banned, so it's just to be aware. But that's just just the standard galaxy package you see in most Blue Eyes decks. Then to round out your X seeds, we do have one Sun Dragon. I say Overlord because he's just a great way to nuke your opponent board and just get over some problematic cards that you might not be able to get over. Then for your links, one Link Karibo just to I say unbreak your hands with your stones or any of your tuners. Uh, one Hip Hawkinson. Because he is a great, let's say, Link Monster for lights. He boosts his up. Let's say he boosts them up. And plus, if he pops, you can search one of your light monsters back from your, say, graveyard to your hand. So it's a good way to re-encourage some of your blue eyes monsters. Uh, one Deco Talker, because Deco Talker is the best generic Link 3 in the game. It's just nuts. It's just an, an, another way to stop targeting effects. And then, of course, the one Mech Knight, uh, say, Supreme. Uh, because, obviously, we're using the Mech Knight engine, so why not use the other Link? Uh, and I see Link Monsters for If you want to throw in the other Link Monster, you can. I mean, I don't have it. Uh, I see, otherwise, I would. But right now, it's just Mech Knight uh, Spectrum Supreme. And that will do it. I mean, for side decks, I always just let people know. I mean, I, mean, I see, make your side deck for whatever can combat the meta these days. I mean, because the meta is always changing. Side decks are always changing everything. But so side decks are always up to personal preference on your style and your, say, uh, your style of gameplay and how you want to actually. Say to, say make your deck available to fight in the meta that's currently available. But this has been my updated Blue Eyes profile. I might do an updated Blue Eyes Chaos Max profile because the let's say Chaos Max definitely let's say got the new Chaos Dragon of course, and then let's say a bunch of other new Blue Eyes cards that came out with the White Legend let's say Dragon Abyss that came out a while back. So it's, it's been a while now, but. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, bye-bye.